Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. Fitzy, <gasps> Fitzy, come here. This video is going to give y'all the inspiration that you need and also myself because the only way I'm getting myself to do this whole spring cleaning thing is to film it. I wanna go through my closet, I wanna switch my winter clothes out to my spring clothes and do a deep dive of donations. There's so I could spend three days in here doing that stuff. I wanna finally organize my bathroom, like that is my biggest, biggest goal. We'll see how that works. Um, I've been putting it off since I moved here 13 months ago now. And then I even wanna declutter a little bit of my hosting closet because I'm not using certain things and I could just donate them. And we will just see, so. Subscribe if y'all are new here, by the way. I do a lot of like home lifestyle content and we are going to get started. I actually have a facial today at 3.30 in two hours. So I'm gonna give myself an hour to go through this closet. I always set timers because it makes me work a lot faster. I'm gonna give myself an hour to move all the clothes over, move all the clothes that I wanna wear in Nantucket. I'm going to Nantucket soon, so I need to move them here and Stagecoach. So that's where I'm like outfit planning with this extra clothing rack that's so extra, I know. And then, and, um, I just need like piles and piles of basically donations. We're gonna get started. y'all lots of progress that was genuinely the fastest hour of my life the timer went off when I was bagging the clothes this closet feels totally different it feels so much lighter and there's just so much less stuff feels so much better because I finally decluttered and I went through and I did a bunch of stuff there I can definitely do some more but honestly it's looking really good so I'll give you guys a little update 
I have a headache from wearing this hat, but now like my whole outfit is thrown out. Like it's just, you know, one of those things. I mean, this entire area is so much lighter and cleaner and I'm just starting to put things up that I want to pack for Nantucket and then stagecoach. Like it just looks so much better. I kept a couple puffers and just things that I'll wear in the spring. I kept um, some of that out and then I just put some of my sweaters back there and then my maxi dresses out there. And then I really honestly do still need to go through my denim and try on every single, I've been saying that for a year. I need to try on all the denim, see what I have. And those are all my basic tops and what not and then the rest of that stuff is Rick returns so if he's close she left here and then some other things that need to get done but it looks so much better these are probably about two massive trash bags because these are many but still got a lot out so now I'm going to get a facial um I go to Dermani Preston Hollow I got hydrofacials filler when I get filler which is rare Botox I always get Botox microneedling I love laser, pretty much any sort of like med spa thing I get at Germani. Okay, I have a little meat stick. Um, I'm feeling a little anxious, probably because I had so much coffee. I normally wouldn't vlog, but this is part of my, you know, spring reset, getting this facial. My skin just like hasn't been the best. I feel like I don't even really look like myself right now. You know when you just feel it? Like, this is not a real clip. It's me and a beef stick. I just need a facial. Mainly I need dermaplaning. Dermaplaning just like, ugh. It is new. I'm also gonna get my nails done. This is a full reset vlog. I just got the facial. My skin is really red, but it is glowing. Like it looks crazy and it's gonna end up looking amazing once the redness goes down. I go to Germani and I get a Hydrofacial Deluxe or just Hydrofacial Express, depending on like my vibe that day. And then Dermaplaning and this is my favorite facial. And then also honestly tied with microneedling, but it makes your makeup go on so much better because your skin is like actually bare and then it just glows. You know when you just feel like all of your makeup is going on really bad and it just like looks weird and your skin feels weird or whatever? You need a hydrofacial and dermaplaning and that cures it. made some coffee it's like 6 45 i have started running again okay the last couple of times i've gotten back into running which i've never been like a huge runner it's been like a 5k and even at that like whatever i've used couch to 5k and then i use the nike run club and that app is so much better and i love coach bennett i hear a lot that running is good for grief so I want to do it, and my brother used to run a lot, so I think I just like want to do it. Macy is coming over to meet me. We're gonna run at 7.15. I'm just on day two of the Nike Run Club, and it's just like interval runs today. But I love the Nike Run Club because Coach Bennett just talks to you, and then he distracts you the whole time, which I actually need to find my headphones. I think they're in the car, and I think they might be dead. So it might be too late for me to get those today. So I might have to make, oh wow. This ice roller is really messed up right now. It's been a couple days since I vlogged. It was a rough weekend and then yesterday, um, well actually yesterday, I took my dad shopping and I got picked up some, I got picked up, I picked up some stuff. I'll um, show y'all later. I'm getting my hair done today. I have like so many meetings. This really is like a spring reset organization vlog because I have four like organizational type meetings today and then getting my nails done, getting my hair done. My cousin's rehearsal dinner and wedding is this weekend. So it's also convenient. And then next week I go to Nantucket for the week. We've just been kind of figuring all that out and I need to finish booking and making the plans. I obviously, well, I'm the only one in my family who's been to Nantucket and we're really just like a, we just wanna chill. So it's not like we need big plans, but. Anyways, I also got Chobani coffee creamer because they've been out of cookie butter on uh, Fia Farms and I actually like it. I'm so picky when it comes to that stuff. I just opened up some packages and I got these perfumes. I just tried this one. It smells so good. It said it was inspired by Baccarat Rouge. Though I didn't say that right. I don't know. The very expensive perfume. That smells really good. It's one of my best friend's favorites. And then this is the citrus matcha and it said it was inspired by Le Labo scent. 
And then of course, from Epidemic Gardening, I got a pack of seeds. Now I actually don't need these basil seeds just yet. I will once my herb planter comes, but you know, I have my herb thing out there. I got basil this weekend. I'll show you guys the updated plants that I got. And then I got some potatoes because I was thinking about planting some potatoes, but these are just some extra seeds for the basil herb garden, basil herb garden, the herb garden. We'll see. Um, I'll show you guys the garden updates today because there's actually some big updates from the farmer's market this weekend. Got some laundry to put away. Guys, by the way, really actually exciting news. I'm trying to point out the good things that are happening in life, but I have my first pair of gifted everyday pajamas like on the PR list. They are my favorite pajamas. They're just the softest things ever. It's Everjay and then really, 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 really closely behind Skims. Honestly, like, they kind of are tied in different ways because I like the Skims ones because they're a little bit heavier. Just depends on the vibe. But, like, these are just so soft and they only get softer as you wear them. And, like, if you're asking, if you need, like, a gift for something, if you don't know what to ask for for Christmas or something, I don't know, whatever it is, like, Everjay pajamas. They are so good. Macy is on her way here, so I need to stop talking to you guys. No offense, and I need to get ready. I think I'm gonna wear these year of ours little shorts. Feels so good to just have so much less in my closet, by the way. Like, it really feels a lot more amazing. Also, for my runners, what sports bras do y'all wear? Because I have, like, good supportive ones, but I don't know. I feel like I need more fitness sets, which is crazy because I have so many, but I've just been wearing the same ones for quite some time. So this is not like a matching set or honestly even like a cute running fit. It's just what we're wearing today. And then a breadwinning housewife crew neck. I live in these. If y'all haven't gotten the house guest, like red crew, it's so cute. You need to get or even the pink one depending on your vibe. But red is like so in right now. And the house guest one is the best one because we also like switch manufacturers. But anyways, I think I might as well just do the haul for y'all now. We've got J. Crew, we've got Abercrombie. Now I will say I've really been maturing. I would say in the past like two years to wanting more of like a classic thing. I was listening to someone the other day and they were talking about how like with your style you should be able to describe it in like three words because it makes it like easier to find your personal style. And I've definitely found more of my personal style in like my mid-20s so I would say Western but like in the sense of I like boots and belts you know and like I don't know I do kind of I'm like getting more into like classic stuff like my favorite thing I think I've ever had in my closet which y'all have seen me wear these literally non-stop are like these two sweaters from Commence and I'm obsessed with navy right now. Like, as you can probably see, I've also been collecting, like, nicer, preppier outfits for Nantucket. But, I don't know, I just like classic in general. So, like, before it was, like, I was dressing more that way for Nantucket. But, like, I just like classy. I don't even know if that's like, the right word. Maybe not classy, but, like, traditional. I don't know. Anyways. Oh, there's an Abercrombie haul, too. There's a big haul. We probably are going to have to take a break. So, I'm just going to start here, guys. I got... PR from Free People, which is crazy. And I picked out this jacket, which I thought is just like the cutest thing ever. It makes me want to wear it today, honestly. I loved that. And then we got this like blue dress that I posted on Instagram and I got so many compliments on. It's really cute. I'll, I'll wear it at some point. This black skirt from Abercrombie. So here's the thing. Abercrombie skirts and these Abercrombie pants I have in like four to six different colors. Like they are the best. I will link exactly which one I'm talking about. But like for the spring, I like I just know I need to like not have to think about a lot of things. And like I know that I feel really good in these skirts. I know that they fit me well. So I literally just keep buying them in different colors. And it's like the same as the white one. Like this white skirt. You guys might remember if you're long-term vlog viewer i used to wear this skirt all the time and abercrombie only had this color and then molly also found it and loved it and was complaining about how they only had one color we're the same and anyways they have black you'll see more there's a pink there's a lot going on there it's the best skirt ever this brown skirt with a matching top so it's a little matching set polka dots really cute Flip polka dots are really in this denim vest from Cezanne, amazing planning some outfits this from ash i saw kate davis wear it so i had to get it that's stagecoach more Abercrombie skirts, so these pinstripe skirts are so cute, and they're matching sets. I just got the skirts sized down in them. I wear a small in both of these, and I wear a medium in the normal ones, and I'm normally a size 6. I got this, like, pleated denim skirt from Abercrombie. 
so cute um and then we just have like a bunch of like Cezanne stuff oh I got this like white set that's really classic from Abercrombie it's like scalloped got this long blue dress this long dress see even when I was like getting rid of stuff and I kept stuff like it's not stuff that I'm excited to wear oh this dress from free people so cool I should have gone down a size, I got it in a medium, and I should have gotten a small, but your, my body, like, your body, like, recompositions, it, like, changes when you weight lift, like, not even in the sense of, like, you're losing weight, but, like, in the sense of your body composition just changes, so I feel like that's what's happening, but anyways, I got this white sweater from J. Crew. J. Crew is just, everything is so classic, things that you'll keep forever. I got this one in a medium and uh, to layer and honestly and maybe I don't know I got navy blue in a small just because I feel like I will wear them so much I don't normally wear like stark white but I felt like it's good to have and when I was going through all my clothes I'm like I have so many clothes but I don't have a lot of like what I feel like I really need and then I got this I, I'm can't I'm doing a haul it's like 7 a.m. long black dress from Abercrombie which you can dress up, dress down. I honestly might wear it to the rehearsal dinner this weekend. It's very um, versatile and cute. So I got that. And then I also got it in this color, but like it's kind of like a Barney color. Like I'm not like, like so pumped about the color, but I thought it could be cute to wear with like an unexpected pair of shoes. Like if I like styled it really fun, it's giving Briley King. You know what I mean? If you guys don't follow Briley on TikTok, you need to. She's like my favorite ever. So anyways, I liked it. Um, and then Abercrombie, when they sent me that stuff, I don't know where the pants are. They sent me a pair of pants. Um, and I loved the fit so much. I went back and I got them in three different colors. So these are just like some nice, these are the ultra high wide leg and I wear a 28 which is a 6 in the regular length but they just fit so well and Abercrombie has like the cheapest options for these with keeping them really good quality still and then I got the white with navy blue pinstripe which will be so cute my sweaters and then I got the navy blue pinstripe pants and then I got the skirt but in like a little khaki moment. When I wear skirts like this sometimes too, this like gives like Molly, especially like Molly when she was younger, like she would, I just remember her always wearing skirts, so. Anyways, they're the best cut and they're so good. So I got a lot of good stuff and I'm excited about my outfits. It's been nice to like be excited to get dressed because I haven't really like, it's rare that I like get ready and like wear a full outfit or whatever. So it's really exciting to like have clothes that I actually like look forward to wearing. But yeah, oh guys, speaking of Molly, look, she surprised me. She said that she had something shipped to her house. She said she bought us something and hers is blue. And look, she got me the Gap Love Shack fancy bag. Isn't that so cute? It's getting my farmer's market bag and my bag for a bunch of other things. I don't have a good tote bag like this size right now either. And also, I don't know if Miss Molly even knew how hard it was to get. Like, I also got one of the Lucky loves bags and I wanted and I was like on the wait list for so long, but I didn't want stark white That's the issue and I like haven't even worn it one time like someone commented you'll never wear that and I was like shut up and I have it But it's only because of the color. It's not because of the design. So Anyways, we're gonna go on a run and I come back We're gonna get ready and we're gonna have a productive day. I'm back for my run It was actually easier than I thought it was an interval run for 30 minutes, but Anyways, this is the update on the cut flower garden. Definitely growing quite a bit, and then I did plant some seeds. I don't know if it was in this week or the last week, and you can see them starting to sprout up, which is good. I don't know why these have gotten here. That's not, that's just a branch, but yeah, we're making some progress. And then back in the vegetable garden. So it rained last night, so I don't need to water this morning, but We've got our eggplant going. I don't know what that, what does that mean guys? Not good, probably. Um, our carrots, lettuce, sweet peppers. We've got cucumbers somewhere and I think I need to, pretty sure cucumbers actually grow vertically so I need to figure that out. Tomatillos, I can't speak anymore guys. Oh my gosh. Which I think I need tomatoes so I definitely need 
like a vertical thing so anyways onions what I wanted to show y'all though is at the farmers market I bought some seedlings which I've never done before I've started everything from seed but I just felt like I wanted to so these are Godzilla broccoli apparently they get like really really massive oh it's really wet over here like really 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 massive broccoli heads and then we've got some cauliflower as well so I'm very excited for that and then some more progress definitely growing quite a bit um, over here in my other cut flower garden and then in my herb garden I oh I planted a bit of basil basil seedlings this week it's definitely coming up and I know basil goes crazy basil's right there in the summer with all the Sun so I'm still out of breath for the run but Anyways, progress, updates. I've decided that I'm fully getting rid of all of the rock and I'm planting plants. All the pots, everything. I mean, I don't know where those are gonna go. Hello, but these are going to be plants and like flower beds because I just hate the rock, it's not me. And this could be like such a beautiful little like garden oasis. So that is the plan. All right, lots of shopping recently, but I needed these. So they're the Sam Adelman kitten heels that I swear by. I have them in so many different colors. But these are the patent ones. I have the suede ones, so they don't really work for spring and summer anyways. Here they are. And then I got them in black as well. They are the best shoes in the summer. I literally only wear kitten heels or cowboy boots. And they're so good, but I needed these for the wedding this weekend. So picked them up because I've been needing to replace them anyways. They're my favorite shoes. I love Sam Edelman. So good. I also got, guys, I'm wearing, I just got dressed, but I got these New Balances that I've been trying to find for so long. They're so cozy. Okay, update on this perfume. I love it. It smells so good like I cannot get over it and it's obviously a cheaper alternative I'm not sure exactly the price but I'm gonna link it below because it's like a dupe for like a $700 perfume it smells so good good morning y'all I still haven't even fixed this table. The run this morning was great. We ran way more than I thought we were going to, and I would have thought I wouldn't have been able to, but I did it really with no problem. So honestly, it's the Nike Run Club app in Coach Bennett. Also, these are my favorite things ever. I eat them literally all the time, but this morning, let me tell you what meetings we have. I have my quarterly finance meeting for a friend of mine, and then I have a meeting about potential like Pinterest stuff, and then I have my weekly touch base with my editor and my assistant and then I need to go over stuff with my assistant and then I need to get some stuff done. I'm gonna be working from the chair today. I'm gonna be working on some blog posts today too. Dallas master list. Um, I did make myself a second cup of coffee but it's okay because I ran and I feel like I just ran the caffeine now. You know what I mean? My body feels good. I don't know if this is like bad business but honestly, since you guys are a vlog viewer, I'm gonna show y'all, and I filmed it in case I wanna post it on TikTok, but I wanna show you guys a new product that I'm working on. So, our hero product, if you ask me. It's obviously our recipe journal. And then I thought, well, you guys can already see it, but the one thing about a recipe journal, I feel like it makes a lot of sense for someone who is like in their 20s. Actually, I think it makes sense for everyone. Thinking I would love to make a product, like I have this option because I think you have 169 pages in here and then it's separated by four different categories, breakfast, lunch, dinner, treats, and drinks, right? For me, personally, I have a lot more dinner recipes than I have like breakfast recipes and some people are the opposite, whatever. So I wanted to create a binder that gave you one more pages, so it's bigger, but two, you're able to customize how many pages you have in each section. So by the way, recipe journal is currently out of stock, but it's restocking very soon and they're going like crazy. So get on the website and sign up for notifications and then you guys will be emailed when we restock. Anyways, the front page with this pocket, which I really wanted to incorporate a pocket just in case you have things that you wanted to put in here, like printed out recipes, cards, things that like your family's given you, things like that. Then we have our dividers. So breakfast, lunch, dinner, treats and drinks, the same design. 
And then we have, you know, my recipe journal with the actual like recipe and you can decide however many pages you have per section. This one is too big. I wanted it to be a couple inches smaller. This is like a normal school binder size. It's just too big. I want to do smaller. If one day there's enough demand to do it, like the product itself is approved because the quality is amazing, but I do want to make it um, smaller, just more to like scale, like a little bit bigger than this almost in a recipe journal form and maybe one day i'll do the xl because i'm sure my grandparents would like this just because it's so big so anyways that is one of the things we're working on um i did get back the kindle design or the kindle case and those are not approved they're not good enough so we're going to go back to the drawing board with that and i wanted way nicer stuff we're doing a little soft rebrand with like a brand mark logo things like that and we're really going all the way in with the rooster if you guys don't know, um, I grew up with roosters like everywhere in my house, meaning on wallpaper. When I say that, people are like, I don't mean like the like actual roosters, but it's very nostalgic for me. I'm, I'm sure it is for a lot of you guys. I know like I obviously wasn't the only one in the early 2000s with roosters everywhere. But anyways, it's very nostalgic for me and that's why I've always incorporated them in like the recipe journal and things of that sort. And when I was thinking about what brand marker I'd want for a friend of mine, I obviously, I feel very drawn to like horses and bears, but those are really everywhere and everyone does those. Um, not that I like won't do that with certain things, but like as far as the brand mark goes, especially cause it is like a home brand that's built on like tradition and like generational like things. I decided to go with the rooster. And so it's actually like perfect for us and we're doing a little soft relaunch rebrand. Um, so follow our Instagram, I'm really excited. I'm also planning a photo shoot. Plan rebrand. Things are going good. The one thing in my life that's going really well is a friend of mine and it's been the best distraction besides obviously all my hobbies. But it's just something I'm like, so excited for and it's actually doing well so not that like I'm surprised but like I just mean like it's actually doing well as compared to like you know other things in my life that aren't doing well so I'm excited anyways I have two minutes to this meeting so I have to go okay so everything is a real I got it what you're saying and I do think like what you're saying with the quotes is good because we could be like it'll be like navigating your 20s life on the ranch like and also you can see who went to the last dinner party all right y'all very productive day I'm going to cook some chicken. I've been wanting to make this like all week, but I just really have not been up for it. So I'm gonna make some honey chicken in my new dream cooker that I got from our place. I can't remember if I filmed that or not. I think I did, I'm very excited about it. And we just had a very productive couple of hours of meetings. So um, I just wanna say thank you guys so much. Like I love you all seriously so much and like I like friend of mine could not be more of a dream it's just oh and to think of everything we have coming we have so many social events so right now they're in Dallas but we definitely want to branch out like I want to do a whole Charleston week I don't even feel like I have followers in Charleston I just think that like friend of mine would do well in Charleston so let me know but we have dinner parties back we're doing a lot of other things we're gonna do like a recipe club so you know when you see like cookbook clubs on TikTok and everyone like comes and they made some, one thing from the cookbook we're gonna do it with recipe clubs so like we'll pick like a theme like appetizers and drinks and everyone will come with like their favorite appetizer or drink recipe made with the recipe journals you don't have to have like a friend of mine recipe journal you can just like write it down on paper or something and it's gonna be like a really fun hangout like a really fun good way to make friends i'm also like so obsessed with this jacket it's from free people like it's just so cute so anyways we're gonna eat some cookie nun i need to leave in about two hours for my hair appointment and i at least want to go through the hosting closet because i have some things that i don't need in there like i just have some stuff that i bought thrifting that like as far as like table tops i'm just not gonna use it so might as well clean that out on my little spring refresh week that i'm having i'm so sore already for my workouts this week and it's like, is it just from the run this morning? Or like from a weightlifting? I don't know. All right, I have my chicken going. I don't actually know how to use this, so we'll see.
Good morning, y'all. It's like 7.30. I slept with the Skinny Confidential mouth tape last night. And I have never, not never, but I've not woken up with energy in so long. Like, I woke up wide awake and present. And normally, every morning, I mean, I'm also very sad right now. So, like, every morning, it's just like, I never want to get out of bed. But I'm also, like, so exhausted normally to where it's like, I, I don't know. I just thought that I would always wake up really tired. But then I slept with the bath tape one night and like, it was insane guys. Like I woke up fully rested. The only issue is that, I don't know if you guys can even see, it kind of like took off my tanner around my mouth. Like there's small lines, like see that? So I have to figure that out because like I gotta keep using it, but I've also gotta keep my face tan, you know? Toko got group the other day. I don't know if you guys have seen her. She looks stunning. Fitz has an appointment today. I'm going to weight lift. Tonight, I'm going to the Stars game and going to Moxie's for dinner before. They invited me, so I'm taking my dad. I'm very excited. I just things, getting things to do. Um, a lot of the like spring cleaning things like work-wise and like getting organizations set in, I just got my proposals. So we're pretty much good to go and I feel a lot better, especially right now. Like one, it's just really important to delegate in general. Like you need to be delegating things. Um, and like I'm talking about the front of my, honestly in every single thing that you do like work wise but um especially right now because I, I just like really cannot do it all so with a friend of mine I always do everything and I want it to grow and I know that like it will just do a lot better if I'm not the one doing everything and we're just like spending more money in order to like do better well not just spending more money that's not how it works you need to find the right people but you, you know what i'm saying like I, i'm investing more into the business to then whatever we're just investing everything that we make back into the business to grow it you have to spend money to make money anyways by the way y'all recipe journals are out of stock again we're restocking for the sixth time at the end of april and um nightcap cards are coming back too but our dinner cards are available right now they are the og card I'll be bringing them to dinner with my dad tonight. This dinner card deck, it's really good for like anyone. Like it's very, I don't know. They're like questions that like make you connect better, but they're good for anyone. They're not like super like girly or pop culture -y or anything like that. Like they work in families, they work with friends. Like they, they just are good like cards that just work, okay? Um, whereas like the bit cards are like, Girls' night, you know. I mean, we didn't play with the boys, but whatever. Okay, I just, every time I turn the camera on, I just keep talking, and I've got to shut up. I just finished filming my top 50 books that I've read out of 500 and it'll be up soon in my, my next videos you guys are watching it and then it's also going to be a blog post but here's my outfit I'm like loving this jacket as you all can see it's free people and then I have a Cezanne belt my skims white t-shirt that I wear literally all the time my Levi jeans that I actually don't even like that much but I wear them all the time but I don't like this part of it um I really like Abercrombie jeans too I don't know I need to get new ones and then Tacova's. we are going to Moxie's for dinner my dad and I and then the stars game I won't vlog because I'm gonna be TikTok vlogging but what I wanted to say first off Fitz looks like Dobby the elf right now and you know what 
it's okay. He kind of got a summer shave. He really did get a summer shave. And that is because someone wouldn't stop getting into stuff in the backyard that he wasn't supposed to. And he got mad. It's a long story, so it's fine. He, you know, got a little spring refresh, if you will. But I needed to talk again about, this is actually literally the wrong perfume, guys. I actually, I haven't tried this scent yet. Um, but it's this one. I literally started using this yesterday. I left my house like twice. And I've never been more passionate about a perfume ever because first off, <clears throat> ooh, I just got that in my mouth. Um, it's not only does it smell absolutely amazing, it literally smells like Baccarat, like it's a Baccarat dupe, but it lasts. And everywhere I've gone, people are like complimenting me. Even my workout this morning, my coach is like, I'm literally buying that because it's so good and it lasts. And I feel like so many of my perfumes, like they don't actually last. And now like, listen, in the past 24 hours, like, this has really done some things for me. It's changed some things for me. So I just had to share with the girlies because it's only $60. I looked it up online. I literally like, couldn't believe it. It's so good. So we have that. I made myself some tea in my cute little house guest mug. If you guys want to support the show, you can do so by getting some merch. We've got a cute little red crew neck as well. But my dad is coming over soon and then we are going to head out. I'm going to import some footage. I've made so many business moves this week and it's made me feel a lot better because obviously, you know, not the best time ever and I really just need some help slash I'm like in a place where I really need to be making some moves in order to make some moves, you know what I mean? It's like a movie that sounds, that feels like a movie is literally what I just said. Guys, I have these two sunglasses. But I've said this before, but the business like really, these definitely look better, right? With the white and the white boots. What, would you, what do you guys think? I'm probably gonna wear my Chanel or I should wear my coach bag because that matches better. I don't know. I don't really even need sunglasses. A friend of mine has just been like such a good escape and it's something I'm so passionate about. And we're doing a dinner party again very soon. Um, tickets for that are going on sale tomorrow. So I'm just really excited. But anyways, I'm also like loving my outfit, which, you know, makes you, puts you in a better mood anyways. That's that. I've also, like, I love the sunburn look with blush. My skin's like pretty oily today, but I mean, you win some, you lose some, you know? Hey guys. Good morning. Oh, hi. Good morning. I'm wearing just shorts. Should I show them? Yeah. Okay, well, my boobs are like really out of the boobs. Oh. Okay. So that's number one. And then number two, Gymshark, guys. I have no idea how Gymshark got to my house. Jealous because you gave Fitz so much attention? I didn't at all. No, the other night when you uh, and Fitz had a moment. That's probably where this is coming from. I just know that. We're going on a walk. I mean, no. Run number two, by the way. I'm yeah. sure too. Okay, okay. I just was too tired to text you about yeah. that. So, anyways, I have Gymshark and I went to the gym last week, and everyone thought that I had like an identity crisis. I'm so disassociated right now. I like, I'm like, not even processed being awake. Mm. I got out of bed at 7:20. Yeah. No. When I said that I'm getting dressed up, I was getting out of bed. Yeah. So, okay, I'm gonna show Macy. We got our new rebrand. Well, we just got some like updated assets um, for a friend of mine, and they're so cute. I just have to get Macy's response, a reaction, if you will. Hold on. It's gonna be filmed. How about the beauty filter on? Thank you. <laughs> Paris, please. Well, it's on. Okay, I can do that. No, no, no. Beauty filter's perfect. Just wait. You're gonna be so glad that I did this because you're gonna be like, whoa, whoa. Okay. Ah. Okay, all right. I'm showing Macy our new updated branding. Are you ready? Yeah, okay, sure She's my, is. you know, you're my first person that I'm showing this. Okay, to. thank you. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, ready? Okay. Well, I mean, you can open your eyes. Okay. Ready. <gasps> so cute. See? Oh my gosh. Guys, it's really good. That's and so the it's vibe. It's done. That's so the vibe. Look, Look at that. that. Oh my God, see, it's going from like Western branding to, to like, God. This for so this. Like, girl well, it's still westernish though. Yeah, We're but it's still like, but it's like cute to your girl yeah. like more grandma. Mm-hmm. Guys. And look. Oh my god, I love that one. It's so cute. And then look at that. Oh my gosh. Did I, someone I like, can draw that? Like, oh, but isn't that so yes. cute to the twelve? 
Oh my gosh, so cute. And it's just <gasps> like perfect. Is that a journal? No, it's just like a general, it's just like a vibe. Isn't it, look at that, isn't it so cute? It's really good. And look, like oh it's so good. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I got my nails done. I got new cowboy boots. I'm in a rush, I'm about to go record. Here's my outfit. I got my navy blue Tacobas today, which I'm so excited for. They came in the mail, I think it was like the last pair they had. These are the Abbey, they're my favorite cowboy boot, like tall cowboy boot. They're good for white casts also. I love them, I'm wearing this reusable jacket for the third day in a row. This Abercrombie skirt, it's the best mini skirt ever. I will link it all below. I also just posted a whole blog post on like what I've been wearing, I'm linking all this stuff on my blog. I had lunch, I'm about to head off to go record a podcast I'm a guest on. Spritz and Pop podcast. Y'all, like, my skin, it's like peeling right here. So, like, where my bronzer is on my forehead, it, it looks really rough, but it's okay. I am back home. I just got a tan. I do mobile tans with Dallas 180. Also, I just made some dinner. This is from that chicken that I made earlier this week. It's so good. The best dinner. Great meal prep. But that is it for this week's vlog. Tomorrow kicks off Alyssa's wedding weekend, and then I leave for Nantucket. Sunday, um, but we got my nails done, my hair done, spray tan, decluttered. I like how I barely decluttered everything that I said I was going to, but like, it's a realistic spring refresh vlog. You know what I mean? Anyways, love y'all. Um, subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Holistic nutrition. I was so passionate about everything I was putting in and on my body, and I didn't want to be on any prescription medication. I wanted to like feel very intuitive with my body, so I wanted to get off birth control, and I got off birth control, and what can happen to many women is because birth control can deplete so many vitamins and nutrients, and it can actually be this, like the great analogy is taking the batteries out of the smoke alarm when there's still a fire, so the alarm just doesn't go off. So birth control can many times mute the signaling of your body if something else is going on.